All right, Lunatic Fringe, you saw a big dump in the market. You saw a huge amount of burns in the market. You might be wondering what is going on. I got a few answers for you right now about what has happened. As far as recovery goes, though, I've got some really interesting stuff that we're going to talk about here. Now, if you like this type of content, make sure that you hit that like button. And if you want to, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to be notified when I release these videos. Uh, let's kick it off and let's talk about... Uh, we're going to start with Mr. Diamond Hands. Luna Classic Investigator Extraordinaire, Mr. Diamond Hands. Um, so last night we saw this gigantic burn. We saw 6.5 billion tokens being burned. But here is what happened. Bitcoin Turk, which is one of the larger exchanges, announced that they've been hacked. 10 cryptocurrencies were affected and deposits and withdrawals have been halted by them. Now, this is in language, so I don't understand anything about what it is. I could put it into a translator or something like that to figure it out. But the summary of it is that uh, they were hacked. 10 different cryptocurrencies were stolen. 350 billion Luna Classic were stolen. You know, come to think of it, all of crypto is a gamble. All of crypto is a risk. If you see 6.5 billion lump tokens burn, you see whatever happened, uh, you see stuff like this and you got to think like, why am I gambling all of my money on this kind of stuff? Well, especially when you could be doing it at TerraCasino.io. Guys, that's one of the sponsors of the channel. Terraport.finance for your trading. Terra Casino, if you want to do some risk-based gaming, you might as well go check them out today. You can use your Lunk, you can use your Luna, you can use your Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, Polygon, BUSD, USDC, USDT, and your Dogecoin if you want to do some uh, risk-based gaming or, or sports wagering. That's available for you too. So make sure you check out Terra Casino today and then proceeded to get sold on the open market, leaving it. I'll show you the one hour chart to give you an idea. This is what it looks like as the sell-off began and commenced. It was, uh, they just continued to sell massive amounts and massive amounts and massive amounts. A uh, little buyback happens, then they sell more. A little buyback happens, they sell more. A little buyback happens, they sell more. So that's why we have $6.5 billion in burns in a single day. Now, what does that look like broadly? Well, if we come over to Lunk Burn, and or lunk metrics and look at what is burned so far you don't see it registered right here right uh because there's there's a there's a piece missing and, and i'm going to try to clarify this of course during the course of you know some period of time but uh 268 million have been burned so far that was last updated just a little while ago so uh that, that's missing but if you come to lunk dash then you can go look at top burners and you can see fee collector uh enormous amount of, of, of burn happening just recently. And when I go to the top 100 burners over here, you see that's not included in this total. So that's why uh, you don't see that, it, that, it, that it's been tracked. Okay. However, 6.5 billion Luna Classic were burned. That is significant when you consider 123 Lunk have been burned over that period of time. So that means, that is to say, 5% of the amount of Lunk that's been burned in total was just burned last night. So that's a significant amount, and you should be bullish by that point. You should be bearish by the fact that somebody got hacked and the Luna Classic was uh, bought, uh, was 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 stolen, and then sold on the open market. Now, all is not lost here. Let's let's we'll break this down because you might want to be a little bit excited for uh, a few things. And I'm going to point them out in just a moment. But going back to it, uh, so we've got this. We we know now that that's what happened. Terraform Labs CEO Chris Amani, however, also confirms what I've been telling you since the beginning because, um, as a matter of fact, if you go back here and you read a, th a few of Diamond Hands and a couple of other guys' threads, they, like, they were trying to figure out what was going on. Well, I downloaded the, the, the settlement agreement and I read through the settlement agreement and they were instructed to burn th this and what they're burning the keys. So the, the idea here. Now, they've done spaces since then explaining it. Uh, Chris Amani has confirmed that these tokens will also be burned with the plan burn for Luna. The burn readiness will take place in the next few months. So uh, the way that this is going to work is they're not going to actively burn the tokens because they can't touch the tokens. What they're going to do is they're going to burn the keys to the wallet. Once the keys to the wallet have been burned, then we're going to put up a community proposal. That seems to be the, the, the method by which we're doing it right now. Put up a community proposal to have those burned off chain. Once that's done, then those will be coming out of the total overall supply, thus circulating supply as well. So we'll see a, a massive dip in the amount of tokens. And again, to get a, an idea of the context, three times as much or two times as much as what we currently have. So, you know, lunk burn is going to go very rapidly from, you know, let's call it 130 billion right now all the way up to 
you know, well over 400 billion tokens are, are going to have been burned in this one fell swoop. So it's very good to see that that's happening. Now, going back to BTC Turk, th this is the good news, okay? Uh, you know what? I'm going to save that good news for you in just one second. As far as Luna Classic proposals go, let's look at this. There's an increased gas cost of transaction byte by 10x. Now, here is here is the reason. This is Strathcol. This is one of the 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 not a, he, he's not part of the Lunk team or anything like that, but he is one of the major developers out here in this um, ecosystem. Right. This proposal aims to increase the gas cost per transaction byte by 10x. This is different to the earlier proposal, uh, 10x of gas prices as it increased cost dramatically, but only for the largest type of transactions. Regular transactions are much smaller and so see only a smaller increase in cost. The Terra Classic blockchain state is already quite huge. It is relatively cheap to store data on chain. This can lead to situations where people could harm the network by storing huge amounts of data with low cost. Contrary to increasing the gas price overall, this approach focuses on increasing the cost that depends on the transaction size sent to the chain. The chain was also encouraged by Jacob Gideki in here. Um, this proposal, if passed, will set the following parameters. Uh, and it gives the, 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 the parameters. So the value currently right now is 10 uh, transaction size cost per byte, make it 100. So uh, what this will effectively do, uh, these are only rough estimates, by the way, giving you an idea of the implications. And this gives you all of the information that you need to know right here. And it says, it is important to note that this approach focuses on the actual transaction size. This means which amount of data is sent to the chain. It aims to actually make big size transaction much more expensive while trying to not affect normal transactions too much. And of course, you know, when you're looking at it and, and it's costing you a um, hundredth of a penny, now it's going to cost you a tenth of a penny. Now, if you're a small person doing micro transactions, it's still not going to be a lot. But if you're making a giant transaction and you're transferring 350 billion tokens, let's say, then the cost of this is going to be a lot more than it was before. Uh, and remember, tax to gas is going to be, this. there's going to be some implementation for this in, in tax to gas. But what we have to keep in mind is the fact that it does affect legit bigger transactions like NFT minting and stuff like that. This is acknowledged and intended. Also in Proposal 12094, the maximum gas per block has been reduced to 100 million. This implies that a 10x of byte cost might also lead to a less big size transaction being able to make it in the same block. This will not affect the average user or DAP, but might under rare circumstances affect projects uploading batch NFTs or contracts. It is advised to reevaluate the block gas limit at a later time to check if it is sufficient. So. <clears throat> this is, by the way, a disclaimer saying he's not involved in the NFT marketplace because, you know, uh, not we're not involved in everything. So um, if you're NFT marketplace savvy or something like that, maybe you don't like this proposal. But, uh, you know, when you're going tax to gas and you're increasing uh, the, the gas cost of transaction, remember, when you're 10xing your burns at this point, too. At least I'm estimating that that's what would end up happening because, again, tax to gas plus increasing this by 10x, that, that makes it significant more burn. Now, by the way, the burn might be very, very small with this transaction. I don't know. You know we have to see the parameters and the numbers that are playing out in, in real time with volume, et cetera, et cetera. So just bear that in mind. Keep that in mind. So let's look at lung price again. So you, you saw the big dunk, right? Then you saw this immediate sort of swift buy. Now, here's the question. Is this going to be a recovery or is it going to be, uh, are, are we going to get absolutely dumped? And before I continue and give you the price action, let me point out something here. There is an account going around. It's Bitcoin Music and it's at A-Y-E Waken. And it says, why is Lunk going down? Price action showed this was going to happen with a burn and without a burn. No, it didn't. How much further could it drop if 405 doesn't hold support? The answer will surprise many. DM for exclusive targets. Okay. Now, um, it says honesty is better than gold. We're flipping bearish only to accumulate more altcoin before the next altcoin explosion. Now, that is correct, by the way. That is correct. And that does mean that there's some possibility of, you know, some dunks on prices for Luna Classic and people talking about it right here. Okay. So I'm not saying that he's 100% uh, disingenuous or in any way dishonest overall. But here's what I am saying. I, I'm saying that, you know, when you read something like this and you've got somebody out here telling you, oh, this is exactly what's going to happen. Well, this is the same guy who also told you in January of 2023, let me give you the, let me give you the targets for prices here. Uh, this is a target for prices, January 6th of 2023, that this guy was giving you, this this expert, this is the expert, right? Um, two cents by January of 2023, 37 cents by February, 69 cents by March, a dollar two by April, a uh, dollar 31 by May of 2023, by the way, 
and then two dollars and seven cents in June. So he's now telling you, hey, we're going to go down to four zeros five. The guy that told you in June of 2023, we're going to be at $2.07. And to this day, still keeps these guesses, wild guesses, pinned up here on his profile, is telling you, oh, we're going all the way down, bro. I don't think we're going all the way down. And let me tell you why. And I'll back mine up with facts, or at least I'll with relative science. So let's back over here to the chart so you guys can see it. Now, uh, we're on the one hour right now, and you can see right here. Now, this green line represents the line I've been telling you for a while. That's kind of the line to get. That's the that's our support line, and it is increasing, okay? When I move out to the four hour, you get a little bit of a better picture of it. This has been a long-term trend line that we've kind of gone through. Now, we broke this as support tonight, but it was a catastrophic, weird sort of circumstance. Now, what does that mean largely? Well, we've minted two four-hour candles underneath, so we are bearish when it comes down to it. When you see this, right here is this, this the green is all the way down here, so uh, we are confirming that this is bearish, and when we came back up for a retest just up this, just right now, we've wicked off of it, so it's going to have to come back in because we don't have buyers stepping in. Why don't we have buyers stepping in? Well, it could be that the price is not low enough, but I think that it is. There's a re- Cryptonomy.finance just had an update. They are now available in four different languages. In active development are a lot of cool different updates and information about partnerships from Cryptonomy that's gonna be announced very, very soon. Now, to be part of that, follow them on Telegram at Cryptonomy underscore finance and on Twitter at Cryptonomy underscore Phi. Now, what's going on with Cryptonomy.finance is nothing short of incredible. My positions on this launch pad have been just outstanding. And my contract ends November 21 of 2024. And at this point, I think that that's not even going to be the max of the bull run. So if you will give me just a moment here, I'm going in, by the way, I've done very well on Cryptonomy. I'm going to go with the silver level contract and end right here 19 june 2025 we're gonna go three bitcoin on this move all right so we've got a bronze that's been just absolutely killing the game guys i put in half a bitcoin uh previously if you remember that was thirty thousand dollar bitcoin at that point so you know we put in about fifteen thousand dollars my crude interest so far and, and by the way i do have this is a share because it's a 50 50 split but my cut of that eighty four thousand two hundred forty one dollars right now in bitcoin so this is an incredible rate of return so far for Cryptonomy.finance. So uh, do you want to be part of that? Sign up to Cryptonomy.finance today. Reason for this, right? What is the reason? Well, we're going to go back over here. Bitcoin Turk. So, and I'm going to get to why that matters in just a second. So what's the next move right here? Well, the broader market is starting to reverse a little bit. We're not getting pump. We're getting consolidation and sideways action okay but we could be getting pump coming any moment now and, and look we're still in the the end of the second quarter of this year third quarter of this year probably and historically going to be pretty good this is we're in we're 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 in, we're in the stuff now this is the having we're post having we're getting to the point where things are going to start to lift off like it's always happened and it will continue to happen until it doesn't so let's consider that you know perhaps there's some opportunity here that we wick back above this and go back to bullish on this timeline. This is a very rare, this is an albatross, okay? This is one of those ELE extinct, extinction level events for a crypto when 350 billion are stolen and taken. So, you know, consider that that's the reason that it came down from nine all the way down to 72. So, um, what this chat over here says is that we're going to 0 0.005 or we might uh, be in, in, in danger of holding it. Well, let's zoom out just a little bit on the four hour and let's get a whole bunch of data up on the screen here and let's decide for ourselves, does it look like 405 is in the cars? The answer to that is going to be, what? No. So let me explain why. Uh, this is our low right here. Now, now, that doesn't mean that we haven't hit in that five range. However, the, the consolidation 
starts right here at about 66. So what the most likely played scenario is, is that we're going to come down into this range and then we're going to bounce off this range because we've, we've had new buyers step in over this period of time. Everything so far has been fairly bullish as far as the, 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 the total Bitcoin and the rest of the market. We haven't experienced it yet because we're an outlier along with, you know, Crow and a lot of the Cosmos ecosystem has not really had its moment in the sun, its big pump yet. So, you know, I know I'm kind of hedging a little bit and explaining, but just stick with me here. So 66, maybe, you know, that that's, there could be a wick coming down there because people could get frustrated and sell off because this happened They're They're now concerned about, you know, what's going on, but it doesn't look like that so far. Again, when we zoom in, we see that, you know, we've already made a, a significant portion of that recovery back. Well, um, uh, and what would it look like going forward? So now let's move to the day and let's see what it looks like on the daily. And again, I'm just looking at volume. So the volume over here says, again, 6,600 is almost confirmed and plugged in. We're not going to five, uh, but the most likely scenario is going to be a move back up into this range right here. Okay, we're attracted to where everything trades. Okay, that is in that 9,500 range. That's where the attraction is. That's most likely where we're coming back to. Now, in the event that new buyers can step in, new buyers can step in and handle this process and get us back to this number at 94, 95, let's say, then what happens? Well, let's go back over here. Bitcoin Turk just lost their supply of Luna Classic. So what is Bitcoin Turk going to have to do? You have to buy supply on the open market. They're going to have to get back in the game, if you will. Will they have 350 billion tokens? Most probably not. They'll probably start a little bit smaller than that in order to get themselves again back in the game and reopen themselves. But they do have to buy on the open market. There's nobody to give them supply. So they're going to have to come in and they're going to have to start buying up Luna Classic in order to support the trading volume for Luna Classic. Now, this is Terra Classic right now. You see here 170 million in trade volume. Well, we go look at the markets here and we see like, you know, what's being traded over here and, you know, what is it what does it look like? Uh, so we're looking for BTC Turk, right? So BTC Turk is sitting right here with uh, a volume of a little over 10 million as you can see right here. Now, here's the thing. That volume just kind of uh, means that they've got a significant amount, right? Um, they, they really do have a volume of trading. It's going to be worth it for them to buy back in. Again, the question is how much they're going to buy back in. Probably not 350 billion, uh, most likely in the neighborhood of 10 to 30 billion to start off with to get transactions started one more time. But remember, you know, it, this is up a thousand percent, by the way, on the day. So the volume is about 17 million. So they're a significant amount of volume on any given day. And they've always been ranked a little bit higher than this right now. The market just kind of, you know, we're, we're at that spot right now where it's about to blow up again. We're, we're about to leg up. So the consolidation phase is, is right here. So just, just bear this in mind that, you know, this they, they have significant volume. They've had significant volume. And we should probably recognize that and know that they're going to end up buying back in. So we got significant burns coming more. We've got a gigantic burn that happened in the last 24 hours. We've got a major exchange that uh, got ripped off that's going to have to buy themselves back into the game in order to continue to provide that yield. And there you have it. Now, if you're watching the meme coins, then meme coins did not have a good day of it. They are all getting dunked on too. And they're getting dunked on because, you know, here we are. This is, um, you know, this is bad when you, you see all of that stuff happening because you get this reactionary sort of approach. And that's okay, by the way. Don't don't worry about that because it will recover. Why will it recover? Because again, Bitcoin Turks are probably gonna get back in the game. So the summary here, basically don't worry about it. Bitcoin Turk got hacked. Uh, they lost 350 billion tokens. Those 350 billion tokens got sold on the open market. That dunked on the price. Once it dunked on the price, um, you know, we came down. Now people started to step in and buyers said, you know what, this is my accumulation price. I'm accumulate just a little bit more, which they're doing right now, which is perfect. It's exactly what you want to see happen when you see that happen. Now the question is, what next? What do you do next? Well, what you do next here is you, you again, continue to accumulate and you wait for Bitcoin Turk to end up buying 
buying their way back into Luna Classic, getting into those uh, reserves, if you will. That's going to put pressure on the price to go up. Then you've got tax to gas being implemented. You've got the Binance burn coming up very soon. You've got the, 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 the Chris Amani and Terraform Labs. They're going to burn $274 billion. I mean, I want you to start processing all this and seeing like this is going to have an explosive recovery. I told you guys before, probably six weeks down the road, five weeks down the road, because you need that tax to gas thing implemented. Then you need to see the changing paradigm here. But you're 10xing, maybe. You're 10xing the amount of the gas fee. You're, you're doing everything right now to perhaps increase the uh, what's going on here and the amount that are being burned. Uh, you've got more burns coming along the way. You've got a huge increase in the burns, in fact. And don't forget that includes USTC. So, you know, what's to be bearish? There, there really isn't anything. You can be bearish, okay? But you don't really have a reason. There's no real, um, you know, oh no sort of moment here. It's just bad timing. That's it. It's just bad timing um, and thievery. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Again, if you haven't already, hit that like button. And uh, if you stuck around to the end here, thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate you. Uh, it's not financial advice. I'm always right. Watch out for people like this Bitcoin music guy who just, you know, $2 in June of 2023. And now they're telling you, I told you it was going to be 4050. What? 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 <sighs> you know what I mean? So um, let me know what you think, guys. Wild times. We'll talk to you again very, very soon.